hi guys, um, welcome back to the World Tour. So today we're going to go down the uh, East Road, and this is sort of the Northwest Quadrant, which is a little bit bigger than the Northeast one, but uh, I think it's a little bit more sparse in terms of stuff. Oh, hi Zorb, nice to see you. So let's kind of take a look. So East Road. Uh, a little bit of history for the server. When the server first started, we were bound in, so that the map didn't generate beyond a certain point. Now the south road uh, is where all the bulk of the land was, and um, it was bound at something like mm, 3,500 or 4,000, so quite a way out you could go. But the east and the west, they were bound in a little bit closer, and the north was bound really just very shortly north of Icebourne Bull, so you couldn't really build anything there. Um, there's very little stuff built there, there's some in the la the desert around, but um, that was pretty much it. So uh, these roads tend to have not, didn't have much growing out of them, but now that everything is wide open, so we, we've got a bunch of things that are all widely spaced out, and that's what's happened since the borders went away. Pretty much everybody just went out as far as they could and built random stuff all over the place. Which is cool, but you know some people aren't happy that everything's not quite close. Anyway, so that's is Old East Road, which is now actually north. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, East Road shops, skeleton farm, and forest biome. So just beyond the gate, there is the forest biome, um, and there's a railway that goes that way as well. So let's take a look. A little real tight alleyway here. So this is nice thing that nice thing about Icebourne Bull is that um it's built like a sort of realish city so there's roads going off everywhere, little alleyways and stuff, little shortcuts to get pretty much anywhere. And I think you can now climb vines as well, so yeah. You can actually even take shortcuts like that. Fantastic. So let's take a look. Um if you were here for the last video that's that's the court we were just in, so it's just across the road from that. Looks like a zombie was over here. The Drunken Creeper by Twixo. Okay, so Twixo just builds really cool looking stuff. Though, he cheats. He cheats a lot. That Creeper flooring. Spoon. Uh, Metamatic. That's probably rotten flesh, I can guarantee it. Yeah. Typical. Alright. Let's take a look at what drinks we can get here. Feeling a bit thirsty. Minus Grog. Creeper Nectar. Mm. Mm, no. Toe Jam Ale? Yeah. Pass. Or Lycus Lager? It probably tastes of ball gags. Brr. Nothing. <coughs> Alright, so we're going to go into the uh, employee area. Uh, no, nothing in here. Sort of just a basic building. Probably uncheated then. With another cat somewhere. My god, I, you can get him from mine. I hate iron doors and buttons. I use them a lot, but oh, I hate it so much. Alright, this looks like it just goes down into the sewers, so we'll be exploring the sewers at some point, that'll be a whole nother video, because the sewers are quite extensive and go under most of the city, but they're pretty samey, so you can just sort of skip around a bit. Alright, let's take a look. Iston's in, so uh, more people who haven't been around for a while. Food in the back, is that the name of the inn? What a terrible name for an inn. Alright, so some classic art on the walls, nice communal chairs. I uh, don't know, do I want to go down there? Yeah, yeah, let's go down. What the hell is this? Oh, right, right, I see, I see. Alright, this thing probably used to be filled with chickens or something, and uh, the water that would probably just make water come in and drown the chickens or something silly like that. Uh, 
think so. Let's let's go upstairs. That's cool looking. We'll, we'll have to take a look at that bit. And I can't remember. Is this the slums or? No, no. This isn't the slums. This is just northwest quarter. Okay. So this is kind of like what um, the little newbie apartments look like. They're sort of just a bed and a chest and possibly a crafting table. But uh, nice little balcony out. That's further into where we will be going. There's a tree farm that way as well. Very useful place. So just more little apartments uh, for people to grab a chair. <laughs> no! Cake thief! Azure, how dare you? I will not make a portal joke. I will not make a portal joke. Alright, so just a nice flat rooftop. Good for sunbathing if it was daytime. Alright, so it's night. Now, not all of Icefall Bull is fantastically lit. So we do have to keep an eye out for monsters. So we're nearing the actual road itself now. Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find. Food for the needy from the Order of St. Patrick. Is that St. Paddy's? Basilica of St. John Cryosostrom? Okay. Bishop of Constantinople. Don't know where that is, but that's around here. This is Icebomb Bull. The name was decided. Well, it is good that the Eucharistic table is overflowing with golden chalices when your brother is dying of hunger. Start by satisfying his hunger, and then, with what is left, you may adorn the altar as well. So you go hungry. Alright. Now, I don't have anything to start these off with, so who knows, it might be like a bud switch or something, but I doubt it. This looks like it was real early uh, Icebawn Bull build. It is pretty nice, it's sort of that classic chapel feel. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can go down. Okay, so what do we have here? Church library and holy relics. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting relics. Block of the Covenant. Yeah, oh yeah, take it, take it, take it. <coughs> ah, face melting. Moving on swiftly. Fellowship Hall. Potlucks every third Sunday of the month. Ah. Missed it. Let's see if there's anything interesting down here. May the Lord have mercy on his soul. Dicest. Oh, okay. This is a crypt. This is this is cool. Actually, this was a fantastic idea. Kudos to whoever built this. Yes, this this is fantastic. Can't open it. I guess I'm fat. Alright, okay. Right, no, we're not going to explore that because that just looks like unfinished. Oh, no, this is. Uh, this is the sewers, so. I'm just going to avoid that for now. Arit, CS, Sest Ichi, Lempire de la Mort. Okay. Ossuary for an unknown skeleton, now at peace. Wow. Okay. Well done. And back up we go. Make sure we just close all those off. Otherwise, we could end up with surprise creepers, and nobody wants that. A creeper is for never, not for Christmas. 
Speed nuts, emirate, oil baron estate. Hmm. I expect this place to be made of gold. Except this looks kind of cheap. Well, okay. Uh, loads of real estate here. Nice bath. So this looks like it was a work in progress. So not not done yet, but um, I have no idea who Speed Nut is. So likely that it will never be finished, which is a shame. Looks like a little cactus farm going here. And the tower goes up quite far, so let's keep going. Do -do 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 -do. Oh yeah, this is unsafe. Okay, so that's out to the east. You can see there's the forest biome over there, and a spider da 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 A couple of them. Let's take a look at the place that we're going to be going through. Okay, so uh, past the palm trees out to that, what well looks like an NPC village. That's cool, we've incorporated an NPC village into Icebound Bull. Yay! Testificates. Alright, and there's a ladder up here somewhere. Let's just see if there's anything interesting up here. No, not even a gold block to steal. What a shame. Okay, let's just go back down. I'm sure this building uh, fails some several health and safety codes. Look at it. You could slip and fall off these stairs and Easily. Alright. So, poor oil baron. Nice real estate, but um, unfinished. Another entrance to the sewers, presumably. Please do not build in the desert outside of spawn walls. So it's a rule. It's in signs. You can't do it. In fact, it's so much so important, it was said twice. And the skeleton farm is just ahead on the left. I'm sure you guys have seen hundreds of those, so we'll avoid that. Alright, let's take a look down here. See if there's anything interesting. So, Right, so this just starts to go into these buildings. Let's go to the road. Zombie. Nice. Do I actually have a weapon on me? No. <coughs> Hey, my hero. That is one of Icebound Bull's many guards. As you can see, they are dressed in fantastic finery. It doesn't actually have guards, that's just a random player, but still. Guards. So don't steal anything, because they chop off your hands. There's another road down there, so what we'll do is we'll use that as a sort of boundary block. Real tall ass palm trees. And a nice little shelter for you to just get away from the sun for a bit. Hmm. Well, there don't seem to be many building entrances around this way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nice big building. Marco has his temple of himself. Deal with it. He is Karatika, fighting a giant hand. He is also a pot of flowers on a windowsill. I thought this, when I came up to it, I thought this was an art gallery of some description. Quite like the uh, uh, slabs there sitting in the middle of there. Oh dear god! So, Marco Kaz is also a skeleton. In what looks to be a handbag. Poor dude. Let's see if there's anything down up. 
I suspect down is just like another way into the sewers or something similar. But we'll take a quick glance. Ah oh yeah, this is just material grabbing. Okay, so cool looking design, but um not really much else here. The entranceway is awesome. That really speaks of decadence. I mean, the dude has, dude has trees. Don't get much more decadent than that. Okay, so this is where the villagers live. They farm out all the stuff that we can't be bothered to. Oh, I see. So these are just small plots for the building on. I imagine people could just come in and see a, a plot or build like an NPC house or something silly like that. That'd be interesting. Oh yeah, just really small villager, village houses. Or is it that for the competition that was supposed to happen a long time ago? Build a house? Yeah, quite possibly. I have no idea where this goes, but I imagine it probably goes to the skeleton farm. Okay, so... I don't know why there are plots marked out in the NPC village, but then... Who knows what actually happened here. So, NPC buildings, blah blah blah. Is this the tree farm? Yeah, it looks like it. And then let's take a look at the tree farm downstairs. Okay, pine, oak. This looks like it's some sort of automated tree farm. Bit. Oh yeah, okay. So when they said experimental, they meant like, not complete yet. But we can take a look at this. Right, so there's some birch in there as well. Nothing super interesting, but still. It's wood. It's free as long as you replant. So if you do come here, make sure you replant. It's for the environment. Looks good though. Well, at least this bit up here does. That's sort of like a miniature slow tree farm. Tree farm is FPS death trap. No admittance. Ha! I laugh in the face of your puny death trap. Ha! Right, so that's part of another quarter, so we're going to carry on along this way. Um, past the NPC village and go visit some of the other buildings that are here. It's an interesting sort of man or angel statue. What? That's the old North Road. I think it's called Frontier Road now. Toil and Trouble. Drijen Prop. I am, I know for a fact I'm pronouncing all of these names completely wrong. I was worried about it, but then I realized I don't actually care. So, not a problem. Right, plenty of blaze rods worth. Very nice. So we used to have a shop bit where you could just uh, put your item on a little shelf and then you would know it was like a shop, but I don't know what we have now. We have some sort of convoluted trading system. I'm sure somebody's going to correct me on that as well. Confession house. Hmm. Should we read other people's confessions? Well, they clearly aren't private. I put the screw in the tuna. Sopa sign. Sopa sign. 
I'm a screamer, so for sign. So for sign. In fact, I'm going to assume that pretty much any confession that is terrible is probably sober. Except for that one. That happens to everyone. I like to hit people with my meat. You heard it right here, folks. I get high on redstone. I'm sure everybody's done that once. Nope. Nope. This used to be a big deal when everybody believed that if a sheep was there, it took up a, a neutral mob spawn spot. Flaming heterosexual. Yeah, no. I like to move it, move it. Huh. I haven't seen one of those blocks before. Okay, that is, that's pretty good for determining the kind of people that play on this server, for the most part. Possibly including myself. A river runs through it. Well, that's part of the other quarter, so we'll go there later. Alright. More cats! And a dog. The dog is okay, but that cat... Drops house. Be welcome and be kind. Kind to who? The cat? Huh. I like the interior design of this. This is quite cool. But I can set that a lot of the places because they all they all fit the style. So. Is that a? Chicken in a cauldron? Did I just pick up like a dozen eggs? Three eggs, can't complain. After a while, and once you've spent some time in Ice Mobile, any PC starts to chug. Alright, so this just looks like. Central cave, okay, so that's the hyper ravine area. Alright. We'll worry about that in another video. So let's just move on here. Okay, and so now we are back in to the Ice Pool Gardens. Post no bills. So, here we go. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you again for yet another corner of Ice Mobile in the World Tour. Thank you.